I'm keen for either one. Both are good. L2 Vegas. All right. How big Nero's water bottle is? That thing is a little six star vibe. The man is hydrated. A little new map VOD session. Sure. Record the desk touched on it. It was sure. 79 in stage two. So about 50 50. A perfectly like maybe not strong team, but they can get the job done. And All right. LAT have good side so they can maps. have the luxury the of just sprinting out to the hill. Can go is up. <laughs> that's what good <laughs> side means. Go. Clear skies over six star and a clear hard point. After the LAT is absolutely wiped out by a nice. Slay! Grenades there from the members yeah, of Vegas. Good shot That's on Joe. He's been playing good cod. Looks like that challenger's uh, stint definitely helped him out a little bit for sure. Geo just too hot to handle. Once again, he's been an absolute terror for Vegas Legion. Yeah, well, speaking of the terror, Nasty on the flank is going to be maybe devastating. Plays by LAT to play for the flip there. Four the dead. Let's print a new. Perfectly timed flank and the break. Well, also to perfect. I fear they spawned a new there, Byron Nasty. As well with the beat down. That's a four spring. He's got the intel, but unfortunate for him, no reinforcements. Joe Deceives gets caught on the flank. So nasty. Well, the work has to continue. Well, nasty, the work is continuing. God, guys, we're gross. There. Looks like they're going to get like 30 to points this map, huh? A bit of damage he's managed to do. We're actually insane. To hard point. It's a single avenue of attack right now. Uh, good plays by Joe. Obviously, two pieces big, but just trying to stall them out. Great plays by Joe Deceives here to not hit Hill. Gets every kill before killing the guy in Hill. Great play by Joe. That's just fantastic work. That's just great work. Just this first six, best team in your opinion? Um, I don't know, bro. Right now, it's hard to say. LAT's been playing really good, Cod. But I'm so reluctant to give people that fifth, sixth spot just because everybody's so inconsistent. Like it could be today. They, yeah, they could be there. And then tomorrow, they could be dog shit. So. I, I, I hate giving teams that like fifth spot. Can we get a prediction? I feel good about this one. I hear you. All right, so let me back. I'm reading chat. You guys got me distracted, bro. I'm back up. All right, so they're on old. Five can stay here, obviously, get whatever kills he can. LAT's in a full rotation. Going into the absolute money hill. The P3 or the P2 and the P3 chain on this map is pretty much what wins the game. So if you can somehow finesse it. But LAT is hard holding mid. Vegas is trying to strafe out. No one's helping him. Joe's in an off angle credit. Is he stereo chain? No, he's not. I double check chat. Keep us honest. Keeping the time going. Ah, uh, that's a, a dropped moment there as well for Vegas. Ghosty actually gave up this sort of like back alley push to help. I think this is a full hold, right? Pretty sure they're success. just like well, they literally iron and hold. Yeah. This pool hill can all right, so Vegas are pushed out of new here. Get all the time in the world. This is oh yeah, hold on. This is a super troll. I'm gonna go put Kendall's food in the oven, but this is a fucking insane troll. All right, so uh, who was it that ends up not going to the back here? Is it Purge? Okay, yeah, this is what we went over on the flank too. This should have me f tweaking. So you have Geo in the back. Wait till he gets situated here. All right, you have Geo in the back. You have Nero literally pushed to the depths of mid map to see the long cross here. He's not exactly like seeing it, but. He has info on pretty much all of Lobby, and one has info on all of Long. There is nothing here. So, as a professional Call of Duty player, you must deduce that they are going to be here. So, the fact that instead of one Dylan like refilling to pick up Statue Pinch, one bumping Hill, and four playing inside White, or even like running out to help up here, the fact that Geo was back here knowing. This isn't even a guess. Knowing that they are going to hit him from the back and he dies without Purge moving is insane. Like, one is literally looking at wall here. Like, shout out Dill Attach. Love Dill Attach. Great guy. If Nero sees nothing and they're on old, brother, they are not hitting front. Like, Geo, Geo's in war. No one's moving. Geo's in war and no one is moving, dude. Like even like even like a Nero repinch here, the timing is kind of chalked. But like even here, hit mid, just chase mid. What's there's no incentive to stay mid in this situation. You know this guy's off old. 
so you the majority you know at least two people are going around minimum because you're gonna have a team push these are just in these are good guesses that you can make as a call of duty professional so you know two are going to be going to the back there's no incentive for nero to stay mid here because dill can pick up the guy late playing off old one whatever time because dylan has like five or six seconds to react for to this guy from getting to old to getting to you or hitting long so Dylan has guaranteed info here. So Nero, either if Purge isn't going to make this play to help him, Nero has to repinch the back. Because I think coming and playing through front here is like you can kill this guy off old and you can also hold through front. But I think letting them get to the back for free and getting like into white now is insane. Because once you if you have the back spawn and you're playing from the front, once you get into white as the team trying to break, that's when everything becomes like 10 times easier. So I think like just the timings are all completely here. And the reason I wanted Nero to pinch mid there instead of just holding through the front, which is also a fine play, I think pinching through the back is just a pure min-max play because then two would be blocking because he died first. So Nero would have basically free kills. So he would literally, like the timing he would have, he would be running through. He'd be like right here by the time that these guys run through and he'd just shoot them all in the back. He doesn't even have to hit it to block either. He can just literally just kill one or two and then run back away and hold for the exact setup. It's literally like a perfect min-max kind of play. Because like now there's iron, which I, is also fine, but... I think he definitely had options there since Purge didn't make the play that he should have. It's like now they gets back down, they get slid out on, Check they get instant broke. Yo! Fuck you, dude. God, CDL is cooking me with ads today, dude. How many, how many ads do you guys need, man? God damn. Holy shit. Is this how many ads y'all watch when you watch my stream? Holy shit. Alright, well that's my rant about the P3 or P4, excuse me. That was a horrible one. So BMW M4, but no premium. I don't have an M4. Get your facts straight, buddy. All right, moving on to the best hill in the game. Let's go. For the young Joe deceives a team that has a very, very young average age, but they are looking like vets out there now. Where the best hill or the best uh, play on this is to dolphin dive into the hill with your pistol out. What a great play! Oh no, we're not reacting. <laughs> Oh, good. oh, that's the dumbest thing I've seen all day. That's fantastic. That's the first. Uh, yeah, we'll need another one of those. Unfortunate. Boys. Uh, yeah, no good. All right, so Dill could have had about. Let's see here. For Joe. Okay, so right about now, I'd hop in one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, so yeah, he, he missed about 10 seconds getting on hill there. I fear Joe Deceives had him shitting himself in the TV bar. All right, this is pool hill, pretty boring. He's swimming, we're all swimming. Okay. Great. Krem gets a two-piece in the water. Great play. Last guy's in you, going into a new P1. Most of the time, with like some very small exceptions, second P1s are money hills. I know like first P1s are obviously the break of the game. There's no setup, anything like that. Majority of the time, with a few again, a few exceptions over the years, money hills are second P1s. Most of the time, they're very, very easy to hold. So, I think, uh, I think for sure LAT have a pretty good setup here. So, Kreps guaranteeing that they cannot push through old while also repressuring mid. I think he gets a little antsy, gets caught spraying by Geo, but I don't mind the play. I think he probably should use the third corner is a little bit better there. Um, LAT cutting mid here. They don't have U pressure, and also the kill that Geo got makes them forced to look pull stairs, which is obviously very important. Uh, Joe looks U, makes the right read, just loses the gunfight. And then I think they rebreak through pull stairs here because they're going to U. Yeah. So Vegas actually do a decent job, but they just the way the trades work out it just doesn't nothing you can do about it. So now they're funneled, they're triple stacked in gold. Holy shit! They get a split. Did five block? Yeah, five block. Okay. So LAT wants to play from the back. I guess that's just what they talk about in scrims. So Dan Lay plays old. I actually like this play by Dan as well. Instead of like hitting the back here, pause, and then going like through to P2. Since they were on old, basically getting this time is kind of like dagger time. So I actually don't mind him instead of rotating here, like playing through mid. Because I think it sets up a bunch of options for the break. Because you know you're pretty... If they made the right play of being uh, Vegas... If they spawn P2 here, which obviously they do, and they play through the front, Dan's timings are super f 
So if he had gone to the back, he'd probably be like drop or like back here at this point. It's like he knows in order to come around this corner or to like go through vent, basically Vegas is just going to have all the front of the P2. So he has to win the unwinnable. So I actually love the play by Dan going mid here because it sets up options for the break. So like now that he run. plays mid instead of I'm going to new, these up. spawners now have to look mid instead of being able to just fast floods because now we're on old. They know obviously we're on the hill, so they know we're on old. It sets up a ton of options because these guys have no the the people on new don't know these two have no idea if there's anyone back here they have zero info on the back of the hill because they were under the assumption that obviously we're spawning there so these guys have to slow play they can't push out they can't take any like insane fights because if they die with their boys back here it's a super troll so they have to conserve their lives dan playing old here actually is a great play because he slows down these guys as well and if they get any of these kills it allows a converge on the hill so Good play out of Dan Ghost. So he kills Nero trying to cross because he's trying to get to his boys. One has to play the most conservative off angle of all time because he has no idea how many people are in the back. It allows both of the LAT spawners to run up and Dan's killing these guys off hold. What a play, dude. It's inspirational work. Now they're all dead. Now they push out. Doesn't matter. It's break. That's good work. This could be game right here and now. And he's gonna clear out the back spawns as well. Make sure no funny business. Checks that. Now it's all guns forward. Kremp loses his one by Vance, and well, Vegas winning a few. I fear we're heat checking. Opportunity to get nearby. Joe is though waiting in the wings. I'll trigger up. Nades out and about. And just nah, 49 points is diabolical work. And, well, finds it on Geo. and that's the map. There. All right. Um. What was the? Did they three own? Well, they must not have. Oh, no, no, they didn't. They played a Vista. Yes, 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 yes. Vista, Vista, Vista. Yes, yes, yes. All right. We'll, we'll talk about this. Right, I'm going to take uh, Kennel's food upstairs, and then we'll go over the Vista.